Yo, what is going on guys? Prevised here. Thank you for watching my tutorial. If you liked, please leave a like and subscribe. So, <clears throat> I just want to start getting in the mood, you know, to make uh, tutorials on graphic design. So this might sound kind of nerdy, but this graphic design goes to Roblox users, uh, which, if you're subscribed to me, then I'm pretty sure you know what Roblox is. <clears throat> but, yeah, uh... So this is a thumbnail. If you don't know what a thumbnail is, that just goes to games. So like uh, uh like this thumbnail is this right here. This is a thumbnail, and an icon is this. There's a difference. So like if I click on games, these are all icons. But then if you click on them, then that's what the thumbnail is. Um, so I just brought up this website right here, <clears throat> just a, rem a reminder for me for about the icon size so yeah um so let's get on so these are some I this is an icon that I made for the game called Sprinter it was it's being made by the Minted Studios uh, as you can see it's always what I would recommend is always putting your Roblox name or your name <clears throat> somewheres in a corner somewheres on the image so you take credit of that piece of art so right here I did it. So yeah, it's simple. This this is actually pretty simple. It's simple. So anyways, let's get on with the tutorial. So first off, let's make a a thumbnail. Now let's make an icon. So <clears throat> uh, so icon is five twelve, I believe. Oh, I did put six twelve. So yeah, it's five twelve. So five twelve by five twelve. Uh, make sure it's pi uh, pixels. And that should be good enough. So first off, let's take the magic wand. Oh, also, paint.net. Please have paint.net. That's uh, important for this tutorial because that's what I'm working in. So it's easy to just put in paint.net. Also, I'm going to link you guys to the effects to get. And it's kind of laggy. So you can have all these effects. Um, website uh, paint.net effects plugin uh, I'm just gonna pull this up it's right here I'll put a link in the description for this <clears throat> um, also this is the one you wanna buy the first one with the 800 plus read this also large amounts of large amounts of RAM is used plus 4 gigs so just be careful with that if you're like on a dip if you're on data doing it <clears throat> so back to here, let's select this, uh, control X, which removes it, or you could just, yeah, I would recommend always using keys on the keyboard, so control X, <clears throat> alrighty, so let's just make a new layer, just in case, um, also, if you don't have layers open, or history, or the toolbox, or colors open, they should be at the top right, these four things, um, so that's we're making the icon just letting you guys know again so we're on layer two so first off let's let's see what we should start off as uh background <clears throat> so whenever you so it's always important getting a good background for your game so, so i gotta open up my in images sorry you guys gotta see this just some art i did uh yeah, yeah, yeah. let's go to roblox uh I guess we can get the same image I use for these this icon alright so <clears throat> here's our icon and here's our image so what you want to do is take that that background image control C which copies now go to your image your icon my bad control V which paste now keep press keep canvas size so let's just resize this to how we want it you know we wanted to get we kind of want to get that cave in the picture too um, alright and then let's click this click anywhere alright there we go so as you can see I added a blur in the background so blurs are pretty cool to be honest so let's just stay on layer 2 let's go to effects because we should have our effects now kinda laggy now let's find blur blur it should be in the blurs tab now average blur so you can just mess with the radius right here so I'm just gonna put it on four 
I, I would like to go kind of fast so I'm just gonna try to speed things up a little bit but it's being kind of slow alright so let's exit out of this so come here let's make a new tab now let's add some text so let's go right here Oops. Okay. click let's add some text so let's do uh, text let's make this text white okay the reason why we can't see the text is because we have something selected over here so golly just click anywhere pull out the text and text I'm just gonna type out text okay, where's the oh my gosh this is weird text okay there now we have the option to do that so let's do this let's resize this down something like this alright um so we got some text here now on this same layer just maybe add some little lines so as you can see I added a line at the bottom so you could do that or maybe just how I did this was I took the select tool the, the magic wand whoops no I did not take that I took the this the what's it called the very top one and I just made a design so like at the bottom do this then you take the magic wand and fill that in boom whoops okay uh, and then you can maybe add some more text at the bottom so like uh, more text and just change the font to like something like this yep <clears throat> alrighty so this is going pretty good right yeah maybe all right, so now let's go to effects. Let's go to photo and let's go to glow. Now this is gonna make it look nice. Now we have a glow. Just mess around with these settings. I'm just gonna press OK because it looks good like that. Yeah, it's being kind of slow. All right, so now, uh, what else? What about another background? Like how I have these hexagon, these little hexagons. So let's make a new image, a new layer, my bad. Uh, now let's just select this whole image. Let's go to effects. Now in that other, uh, so hexagons, where that's going to be, that's going to be in render. And then if you scroll down a bit, it's hexagons, right? Hexagonal grid. But for this tutorial, I'm going to do bricks. Bricks are pretty cool too. Uh, let's do mortar width, let's do brick height. That's brick width. Let's do brick height. Let's just mess with these things. Alright. Um, just press OK. Alright. Now I know it looks kind of weird with because you can actually see the bricks a good bit. So let's click on properties, which should be in the layers thing. And then let's change the opa opacity. So let's make it light. Maybe something like this. Yeah. That looks pretty nice. So yeah, you could just mess around. Now, what if we want effects like to be overlaid, like uh, maybe something like this, the breakable glass, how I have. So, but remember, <clears throat> this goes to the same thing when using thumbnails. So, say you wanted to make a thumbnail. Uh, so to do that, you make a new image, and the sizes are 120. So and then well, 720. So this is the size. So it's 1,280 by 720. That's whoops, 720. That's to make a thumbnail. You just press OK, and then you can do the magic wand thing and do whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing to the icon. You could do to the thumbnail. So yeah, all you really to needed to know is the size, and then you could just do your own thing. But <clears throat> anyways, let's get on with the effect. So let's say we want breakable glass so breakable glass transparent I know I, sp I spell bad but background we could type something like this images uh, and we should get some images but these are some bad images uh, what I had did is particles particles transparent background that's what I had did I believe uh, 
come on, load, load. This month, this is tutorial is gonna be so long. Oh my god, I thought it said I had zero. Okay, anyways, um, maybe something like this if it's transparent. So to tell if it's transparency, transparent on the background. Okay, I see a logo right here. I'm not gonna use that, or maybe I could. I'm just gonna copy, come over here, and then Control V, keep the canvas size. Well, that's a huge image. Okay, yep, uh, it's it looks pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, what we could also do is drag this layer, and let's just scroll and bring it over here. Okay, that's at the bottom. We want it to be at the top, which is like this. Um, what else we can do? Oh, change the we can change the opacity. Yeah, it's just just a particle thingy. So yeah, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. If you want more tutorials, just let me know. Thanks for watching.